Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com. Today I'm going to make what's called protein bread or meat bread or carnivore loaf. It's basically a loaf that you can slice thinly for sandwiches, grilled cheese, you know, whatever you want. And it's made from meat and eggs and just a little tiny bit of Parmesan cheese. It's keto, it's carnivore, it's low in carbs, almost zero carbs. So it's a good addition to the keto or carnivore diet or ketovore, whatever you are, this is a good addition to that type of a program. So we're going to go through that. There is a printed recipe on my blog for this. Um, I will link that below so that you can print it out if you like. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. There's going to be more videos coming. So what we need for this recipe, I was at the butcher's the other day, so I have, I have half a pound here of ground chicken, and I have half a pound of ground beef, and I'm going to be boiling those two items in some water. So in this pot, I have three cups of water. The reason that it's good to boil it first is because if you're making waffles with this, that would be probably okay not to boil first um, because the meat would get cooked in the waffle maker. But also it helps you get rid of some of the, the fat and some of the, um, the moisture out of this so that you actually have kind of a bread-like consistency. So I'm just going to put these in the pot with the water, like so. I'm going to, I'm just breaking up the meat a little bit with a fork and I'm going to put it on the stove and boil it for about 10 minutes and after which I'm going to drain it in a colander. Okay, so this is simmering. It's just got a few minutes left, so I'll just let it go. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to drain it in this colander in the sink and let it cool down. Okay, so the meat that we boiled is almost cooled down, so I'm going to start putting things in the blender. I'm using this, I'm using my trusty old Vitamix, which is, uh, I don't know, I've had it for years. I don't know how many years. Okay, so my meat uh, that I boiled has cooled down, so we're going to assemble it. So what we need is 10 eggs. So I'm going to break 10 eggs into the blender. So that's 10 eggs. Uh, we're adding one quarter cup ground parmesan. It's just the stuff that you would normally buy from the grocery store. So that's going in. Two tablespoons of aluminum free baking powder. This is just a local one that I buy but if you look online or maybe at your local health food store you can get the ones. This one is also wheat free and corn free. So try to get the healthiest baking powder you can. And lastly, our boiled meat. That looks nice and smooth. I just did what I always tell my readers on my blog not to do. Don't smell the batter. It does not smell that great, I'm not gonna lie. But once it bakes, that goes away. So what you want is a loaf pan. First, I'm just going to grease my pan. I have already preheated my oven to 375. All of these instructions will be down below in the description of the video. So I'm going to pour this in and I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, I'm going to put it in the oven for about 45 minutes and then I'll check it to see if it's ready. Okay, actually, I think, I think that's done. Oh, 
look at that. That looks good. I'm going to, uh, this is cooled down, so I'm going to just loosen the sides from the pan and see how we do here. It smells pretty good. Just want to make sure it's not going to stick to the bottom. All right, well, let's see what happens. If it's still too warm, it might not come out. So I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. So you might have to just unsuction it from the bottom a bit, you know, just do a little gentle slide and lift. So I think this is going to come out. Ah, there we go. Okay, it is actually still pretty warm, so I might wait a few minutes before slicing it. I'm just going to flip it over though. There, I'll let it cool there, maybe for another 10 minutes, and then I'm going to slice it up, see how we did. So I'm going to slice this up. Well, I have some air pockets in there, but that's okay. It happens. Um, yeah, so you can, you can make grilled cheese sandwiches out of this. You could actually put it in the toaster oven. Um, you know, wherever you would use bread, you, you could use this. Um, and it's completely zero carb, carnivore. So there you have it, carnivore bread. So thanks for watching the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.